Yes, this shit is raw, coming at your door. Start to scream out loud, Wu-Tang's back for more. Yes, the hour's four, I told you before, prepare for mic fight. Third, you know what I'm saying? Third round right here. Unlimited, unlimited right here. You know I, I, I want to see blood, blood just though. I ain't gonna lie, I want to see blood right here. All right. That's a bullshit on you, my G. Now here's where I get in trouble. I try to make it embarrassing. But all I'll do is tell the truth and get accused of being arrogant. <laughs> But let's be real though, your impact will be zero. I've had Song of the Week seven weeks in a row when I was 19 years old. On three different websites, the song was OCM. And even with some corny ass horrorcore, I was still more respected than you then. So I ain't buying all your bullshit, your faggotry and rubbish. In eighth grade, I had lyrics that were nationally published. So your grind time status don't mean much to me because when it comes to rapping stripes, you can't fuck with me. You said you'd freestyle our whole battle. You can't be serious. I'm the best rapper that's been in front of you. Bottom line, period. I didn't battle till I was 24. I ain't been doing it that long. I figured this shit looked fun, but I guess that attitude is wrong. If you've been freestyling for years and your pen game ain't strong, but I'm an artist, motherfucker, I rap to write songs. So in real life, your impact won't matter after. Here's a comparison for you, recording artists. Battle rapper. So instead of trying to figure out what rhymes with bang me with the ratchet and grab my girl and smash it, stop trying to be a multiple syllabic and stop acting like a faggot. <laughs> so now instead of dissing, I'll respectfully approach you. Lend a helping hand. Hell, I'll even try to coach you. A standard rap verse is like 16 bars. A bar is two snares or a four count. It's really not that hard. <laughs> Next is the hook. Say stop if you're not ready. But this is the part of the song that's supposed to be kind of catchy. You find a way to relate to the people in your audience. Or if you're making club music, just say some shit about partying. Repeat it twice, then verse again, and post it in your message board. And if you ever make a hit, that's one more thing that I'll take credit for. Oh my God. So you want it unlimited. And that's what you get, pal. Just because I don't, don't mean I can't freestyle. But I don't have to freestyle, because my pen game's savage. You, written or off top, forever remain average. I'll make this battle a tattoo. It'll mark your body. I got a style of my own. You a carbon copy. I'm an arrogant prick, but you just cocky. If you win, you're a burglar. You must have robbed me. <laughs> you tall ass, goofy ass, serious Jones look alike. <laughs> Half a faggot sucking dick cross dressing every night. I am not afraid of you, dog. You're Mark ass bummy. To tell the truth, you look like a dark ass gumby. <laughs> Don't count on it, bitch face. And I won't say I do, because I have no clue how your bitch tastes. For a million fucking dollars, I would not let us switch place, because I won't fuck a bitch if I can't see the itch behind a bitch waist. Translation, your girl has a fupa. And there's no shame in how she's loving you. You hooked up with her on Craigslist. Category, BBW. <laughs> Just say BBW. You look like a fucking rabbi apostle. And judging on your shirt, BBW for you would stand for a blueberry waffle. <laughs> Did you hear what he said when he said he was gonna fuck my girl? That was a irrelevant diss. So now, pay attention to what he just said, but listen to this. Now it's time to get serious, and I'm not delirious. When it comes to the truth, Steve here is scared of it. See, this is where the exposure begins. But to me, it seems boring as hell. Everyone, come a step closer. I have a story to tell. Ooh. I know so much about Steve, you would think I'd hang with him. I know so much about his drug habits, you would think I'd slang with him. See, I talked away. He had to say that grind time is nothing but jokes. And that's probably true, but honestly, dude, this is a grind time joke. <laughs> tell me why every girl you hit the fuck tells me you can't get it up. From Tasha Holt to Brittany Youngblood to some more belligerent sluts. Ooh. Steve, you're so desperate for pussy, not even precious would think of it. <laughs> you tried fucking with a skis that had an STD that you knew you were related to? <laughs> See, the impact stops there. Steve, it's just not fair for so long. You wondered, is the message not clear? But, in all honesty, 
there is some truth in the matter. So pay attention when you hear this coming from a rapper. Every time you got into a relationship, you were always feeling pissed. This one girl cheated on him so much, he was getting free shit from the people she was sleeping with. Yeah. True story. Is this not true? You battle chronic ales in grind time. I was supposed to be there, but I had a lifeline. A one-sided victory. You got demolished and caught stage fright. You lost your battle, your reputation, and girlfriend all in the same night. Oh, Damn. Damn. Oh. Akron, y'all want to know what happened? Damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, he was with a girl named Tasha, and Chronic Ells dove on her quick. He asked for her number. She pulled the cell phone off her hip. Tay G, how awkward is this? that you sat in the corner and pouted like a little middle school bitch. <laughs> right, right in front of you. He backed your girl right in front of you and you didn't do shit. <laughs> Wait, no. Shout out to Awkwards. Shout out to Awkwards. It's pretty awkward that he probably would have fucked your girl and then had a daughter. <laughs> Don't talk to him about first, I'm gonna fucking rebuttal it. Now, how awkward is this? Huh? He's riding in the car. Right. She's texting Chronic on the way back. Yeah. Fat Rat is looking at this nigga like, damn. You really gonna take that? <laughs> See, inside his mind is a ruckus, and you have no budget, but he's like, well, I should be okay, as long as she doesn't try and fuck him. <laughs> See, if that would have been me, I would have tried to fight him, slice him, knife him. He made jokes about fucking your girl, and she actually liked them. <laughs> so one week after that battle, she breaks up with you, and you're feeling pissed, right? Right after you got your six month supply of insights. <laughs> See, now he's feeling pissed. He tried a suicide attempt in bliss. Hey, you stupid bitch, instead of hitting your wrist, why don't you try slitting your dick? See, I should snatch the weapon if I give it back. If you don't want no blood, you better show my 40 love like a tennis match. Now, he's from belligerent battles, and Steve wins battles there against high school Jewish dropouts who don't want a rap career. <laughs> See, you, ex you exceed at weird shit like that to earn your stripes, but what good is it doing you in the long run in life? See, I beat Chronic L's, the nigga you lost to, and got the crowd hyped. Fat Rat killed him in Columbus, too. We beat out of town guys. See, a decibel means a unit of measurement as composed in a sound bite. So how can you sound nice when I've turned down every decibel you attempt to sound like? Oh. See, Fat Rat never told me none of it. Fat Rat never told me none of this shit. He was sealed like Ziploc. Your friends backstabbed you on Facebook for thinking you're a big shot. The lies you said already consigned to everything you would get guap. No matter if you're an Italian or whatever you are, you still don't get guap. Do you know Madness? I battled Madness. He saw my battle and gave the kid props. We tower in Akron. You young town niggas might get your click shot. So if you ever try to front on us, stop thinking you're a big shot because I've been co-signed by the only Italian that's relevant in hip hop. Ooh. Are y'all really appalled by this nigga's flaws? Decibel, that's a place white bitches shop at in Belden Village Mall. <laughs> Question, do you remember Brittany Youngblood? Do you still love her? <laughs> Knowing you dated for a year, but this queer never pumped her? Oh. And your best friend Jesse met her within one week, and he fucked her? <laughs> you are a fucking joke to society. You can't even beat him. You just got sun because you're the same color as my semen. Let me rebuttal what he just said in this last round. Remember when you talked about you got song of the week and you got artist of the week? That was real clear. But we're in the same position, so what good does it do you here? I battled in grind time. Colorado, Pittsburgh, Missouri. I even took Fat Rat and Scissors with me on the journey. See, I got a battle in August in the United Kingdom. Come on, I'm killing the son. So in all actuality, I make songs. You just do it because this nigga is dumb. When you compare the comparisons of where I've been to where this nigga is from, come on now, tell me who's the real artist and battle rapper who has something to benefit from. See, I battled Metaphors. Metaphors has more views than you do. You should probably battle him, but he would freestyle about your life and you would never be allowed to rap again. Is that not true? We battled it, I get it, in Ohio. I had to bang up on you. You tried to call Sonny for a battle, he heard your voice, you said this is decibel. And he hanged up on you. Remember when you hold on. Now this is freestyle. This is freestyle. 
Remember when you said that you're the reason why Fat Rat got in grind time? Yes, you did say that because you said it on Facebook, so don't even try and lie. Because if you try to lie, I'm going to tag everybody in this fucking room in the fucking photo and point your fucking post and sparkle a red round it. You fucking homo. <laughs> this nigga got on a 14 karat yellow gold watch. What? They don't even make those no more. <laughs> I'm from the jewelry store. My style is type old. If you were jewelry, you'd be 24 karat white gold. <laughs> So when I speak par, I treat you like Kid Cudi or Kobe. Because when I see y'all, I'll put the L with this AK that I have you in front of the ERs. So this shit is not written because you a weak liar. You marvel my verses because I cap calm like Street Fighter. So when I talk about gun lines, I got to pop them. The difference between you is I can rap about guns because I've actually shot them. Time. What the fuck is up, baby? You know how to shout you out, baby. Hey, get it quiet. Get the judges, man. Get these judges real quick. What are you over here, son? I thought you were over here. They were so good. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, quiet down. No, I'm not man. I ain't know what was personal, what wasn't. The battle was great. From both of y'all. I'm gonna let, let the people decide, really. I, I can't, I, I mean, no, hey, they both spit some bars. That's a tie, that's a tie. That's a tie right there. But Justin, what you, how do you feel about what's that? Up? You see the whole battle? Yeah. How you feel about that? Yo, what's up, Majestic Wild Hip Hop Awards? Yo, both of them, um, no, man, that was like a seven minute OT right there. Uh, <laughs> I think both of them did good. Um, first round, old boy had him. He had him on the personal shit all day. Um, shit, I'd have to go with him, man. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's it. Hey, I have to say this. I have to say this. And Dallas' is Bert, last verse was so long, I might have went with him. Sure we got two's this last one. Why is he, man? Uh, uh, y'all cool with this? I'm gonna ask both of y'all. Y'all cool with Dallas? 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 Y'all cool they both went out of man. Um, I think Dallas had a few more stings on with Dallas. Yo, yo, I'ma say this right here, dog. You know what I'm saying? We never, we never spit this rule out right here, man. We never, we said no OT. We never said no tie, and that's what the fuck is looking like. I, I, I ain't never seen. I, I seen ties in battle rap. I seen ties in boxing. You know what I'm saying? I said no OT, so shit. Ain't no ties, no ties, ain't no ties. Ain't no ties, B. Ain't no ties. Go into the crowd, shit. You can't give a championship to two people, B. You can't give a championship to two people. It ain't never happened. It ain't never happened. Show of hands. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is it judges? Is it judges? Only shoot screens. Is it judges? Judges, judge. Is there judges? And he wears Is there judges? Judges judge, B. Judges judge. Judges judge. I might like country music. Do you want me to vote? <laughs> I mean? Hold on, I don't think you saw the whole battle, did you? I saw a lot of it, man. He came in like 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 he all the way real. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, both of y'all was spinning hard as fuck for real, for real, man. But it's, man, I like way feel bad for some of the shit you were saying to you, fam. I'm gonna have to give it to my nigga Dallas, man. That's just, right. that's so, true. I ain't heard it. That's four, though. That's four, though. It's out so, there. So, 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 right. we, we, had, we had a draw. We had a draw. One for decibel. And two for Dallas. Dallas, so split decision, it go, it go to Dallas, man. Great battle. That's what it is. Split decision, man, it go to Dallas, man. Clap it up, though.